most commonest questions we get asked in, in garden centres and by people you know who are trying to develop their gardens is what do we do about cats who seem determined to come and leave their smelly deposits in our lovely <coughs> soft soft soil and uh, I'm going to share some thoughts with you um, some of the experiences that have worked for us need to understand that we are cat lovers and uh, this here garden was the um, was the domain of uh, of our ginge, so ginge of Kafili, uh, our beloved ginger cat who we lost about um, 18, 18 months ago, something like that. Um, so, you know, I've seen a few comments out there on social media that are quite kind of hateful and hurtful towards cats. We're not like that. Uh, we love our cats. Um, haven't got a cat at the moment, but quite a few cats from the neighbourhood uh, seem to come to our garden, perhaps because the soil is so so soft, which is perfect for them to come and uh, dig and uh, and go to the loo. So, um, some things to remember about cats. Number one, they are very very sensitive to smell. Okay, uh, so they will once they've left their their scent in their garden and let's face it it's not a very nice smell um, they will return to that scent um, second thing to remember is they are creatures of habit so once they've got in the habit of coming to your little patch your your nice toilet provision they will keep on coming back particularly if they can smell their their scent so um, I'll spare you the details, but basically the first thing you need to do is to remove said evidence of cat deposit, get rid of the poo, um, and what uh, what I've done in the past is gone right down the end of the garden, there's a rough patch of garden right down the end, and I've dug over that ground there, out of sight, out of mind, and redeposited their poo uh, down there so that they are drawn to their scent in an area of the garden that we're not worried about so if you're in a position where you can create a little bit of a patch down the end um, then that would be ideal and deposit their poo down there so remove the source of their scent and then <clears throat> a couple of things that you can do to deter them number one and I'm going to put one of these in here is to plant plants that have got us a, a smell that will cover over um, cat scent. So this is the scaredy cat plant that you can pick up certainly here in the UK in garden centres during the spring, April, May, maybe June. Um, got a very very strong perfume to the leaf and what you can do I've just picked off a leaf. Do you know even as I was just rubbing the leaf then I got the smell of the scaredy cat plant. You can pick off leaves and um, where the cat has been leaving its deposits you can just cut up a leaf like that and that will very nicely cover the smell that they've left there. <clears throat> this plant will, uh, I'm going to put it about here somewhere, it will get a good kind of half metre across by the end of the year. It has quite attractive um, blue flowers but if I'm honest the only reason I plant it in, in our garden is to deter the, um, deter the cats. So we're going to plant that in a moment. The other thing you can do is um, make it a little bit less um, inviting for them to walk over your soil by cutting up small snippets of prickly stems. So I've got some, uh, some rose prunings here um, from when we were pruning our roses back in March and uh, full of thorns. We're just going to leave a little trail of them um, over the soft exposed ground. we go and uh, that will be another deterrent that will make them think twice about walking over this soil within within a month or two I'm expecting this um, this plant to actually fill this space and that means in itself there's going to be less soft soil available for them to dig in. So there we go. 
there are various potions and lotions that you can get. There's kind of garlic granules and pepper dust and all these things. They all work on the same principle that actually you're trying to cover the smell that the cats have left. But of course, one drop of rain and those things have, have, have washed away. So a plant like this um, is, you know, well, it's great for the environment to be planting uh, plants in your garden, but that's a slightly more longer lasting um, source of a smell to cover the scent of, of the cats. And once this is down, if we see that a cat has come and left a deposit for us, we'll be scooping that out straight away and maybe we'll cutting a leaf off and um, sprinkling that around the area where the, uh, where the poo was left. Um, so remember that uh, cats love soft soil. They love <laughs> their own scent. They're creatures of habit. So perseverance is the key here. Um, just keep on going. Don't get put off if, you know, if, you're, you know, if you're finding that they're coming back for a while. Keep on removing the evidence. Um, get the scaredy cat plants in there. Put some prickly plants um, chopped up on the loose soil. So there we are. You can win the battle. And um, why don't you let us know how you, uh, how you get on with your, with your catty problems and indeed any other sorts of uh, problems. Mainly horticultural ones please. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget that cats need somewhere to go. So try and provide an alternative place for them to uh, go and do their business. Keep us posted.